Hey, good morning. <laughs> morning. Um, seems time slipped away from us today. Um, I messed up a little bit on uh, on <laughs> on working out Victorian to Adelaide time. So as it is, I'm here half an hour later than I'd like to be. So we're, we're rushing a little bit. Um, we're here at uh, at Tembi Point. It's a lovely little, lovely little spot. There are several things to photograph here. Um, uh, top amongst them is uh, the Tembi, the Tembi tree. So let me just. Let me just slip into aperture priority so you can see just what we have here. There we go. So this is the famous Tembi tree, the one on the left uh, that you can see here. And uh, yep, I'm gonna have to be running backwards and forwards because my uh, bag's gonna have to be about 50 yards behind me. So in the meantime, let me just, let me fire off what I think will be a shot for the morning. So that was saying 30 seconds plus. I've gotta be careful of those, those highlights down there. So I'm gonna focus on the tree, of course. That's saying four minutes. Um, I'm probably going to come back a little bit. There's nothing between us and the tree. So I can probably, let's see. I'm going to do two shots. I'm going to do a very quick one, 40 seconds for the sky. So I'm going to do that now straight away. And then I'm going to run and get a couple of filters. I think I'm going to need a filter or two here. 30 seconds will smooth out this water, which is great. And uh, I won't get much movement in the sky. But I love silhouettes, as you know, and so we've got this, these trees silhouetted. Let that go, 40 seconds, and I'll pump it up to about two minutes, and I'll throw that on, and then, and then hopefully I can settle, and then concentrate and see what the light's gonna go, and what the light's going to do here. There we go. So there are, these are little mangrove trees. There's, there's a whole pile of them here. Let me just check and see how we've done on that. Great, yes. We've got the sky, so we haven't blown that out. And so now I'm just gonna come up. This will blow part of the sky out. Um, well, I can't do anything about that because I can't even use a um, a reverse grad because it would go through the center of these trees so this is I'm gonna do a two-minute exposure that should brighten everything up and give me all the detail and then I can paint in that sky um, once we get back home so um, a focus blend um, I think it was I think it was 40 seconds 40 seconds and two minutes there we go Let's see what we're going to do next. Um, so let me throw on. Got to watch that light. Always shoot for the light. Let's pop on 
plastic rod. So it's a 0.9. I'm just going to use it to pull that sky down a little bit. I think I'm going for a one minute exposure, still focused on that tree. And, and then we can shift and see what we can get. What a beautiful morning. What a beautiful morning. And I assumed it was high tide. And this is, uh, it's probably a medium tide and possibly going out as well. So I don't, I don't know what I've done, um, but I, I've, uh, I've messed up my planning today. Okay, let's see if that's worked out. Oh, I'm stunning. I think we're going to go, we're going to isolate this tree, so we're going to go portrait, I think. So let's get in. Portrait. Shift our filters round. Oh, horrible vignette is normal on that. Yeah, so we'll get rid of that vignette, but might take two images because you can see that vignette in the sky, but look at that reflection. So I think we're going to take two. I'm going to take the tree as it is now, and I think we can get away with 60 seconds because we're not facing the sun. So 60 seconds, this one ISO 100, just to lift it a touch. Oh. <laughs> regardless of how much of a rush it is, oh. uh, regardless of how much of a rush it is, it's always fabulous once you get your camera out and you start just taking those images. Um, nothing could be better, could it? It's absolutely wonderful. Um, the, joys, the joys of photography, it's, it's this. It's being out and camera and snapping and the environment, clouds, light, it's, it's just absolutely awesome. This is the feeling of well-being, this is, this is what we work for. And, and to be honest, um, it's not too often that I'm disappointed being out. Um, at the end of the day, well, at the beginning of the day, I should say, I get to see the sunrise on a new day, new possibilities, and it just... Uh, it sets me up for the day, so I'm, I'm really grateful and, uh, uh, and understand that I'm privileged to be able to do this. So, yeah, never take, it, never take it for granted, you know? Never take anything for granted. Right, that's done, so let me... Ooh, uh, sticky mud again. All right, let me do the second shot. I'm just going to check and make sure that we haven't blown anything out, and we haven't. And so I'm now going to come down. I'm going to focus, there's a little bit of a stump here. So I'm just going to focus on that. And now I'm going to adjust our polarizer for the full reflection. Again, two minutes, uh, sorry, one minute, F11. I'll blend those two together. I think the actual tide's coming in. 
uh, because this tree, uh, this old dead trunk is starting to disappear here. And uh, so what I'm going to do, I think while we're waiting and while I've got the opportunity, oh, I'm going to pop along and just do this single tree here, this little mushroom shaped tree. And then we'll wait for the light and we'll come back here. Okay, so let's have a little look at this. Um, with this one, I'm going to have to immediately start and focus stack uh, because I've got these beautiful set of rocks on the right hand side that you can see there. Absolutely glorious set of rocks. So I'm just going to come down far as I think I need or enable um, us to have a great histogram. It's clipping a tiny amount of light. As you can see on the right hand side, there's a tiny white dot. Um, but apart from that, we're doing great. So I'm going to, yeah, that's given us four seconds. I'm going to grab that for the sky. I'm going to focus on the tree because if I'm going to blend anything, I would be blending in with part of the tree. So that's sky and the tree. Now that will be probably quite dark, as you can see. There's a tiny bit of blown out sky, tiny bit, um, but it's high underneath the cloud. So, and that's the JPEG representation. So I'm sure I can pull that back. And now I'm going to just raise this, comp uh, this upper touch. And what, what I think I'll do is actually, I'll throw on a second grad um, because I want to see the shadows, but I want to balance that with, with the light from the sky. So there we go, let's put the second grad in. Probably easy if I have a look. So I don't cross the thread things as I'm doing. There we go. Let's pull that down. Good. I'm going to come back and focus on the rocks on the right hand side. Let's go. Here we go, so that was eight seconds. I'm just gonna check on that. Nice. turn the camera 90 degrees I'll probably have to adjust the uh, filters and the polarizer to make sure I'm not introducing any horrible vignetting and of course this is going to be 16 by 9 I would imagine that's my thoughts at the moment yeah there we go and let's just repeat that I do love how these rocks on the right hand side just pull your eye in to our little little tree. It's a simple, it's a very simple little shot. Uh, I'm at f11, I could go higher if I wished and get a longer shutter speed. Um, I'll check this one and just see how, how we're going um, in terms of smoothing that water out. But I don't mind some texture because uh, we've got these, uh, these 
beautiful textured rocks on the right hand side so I don't mind I don't mind them uh, complementing each other in this shot and plus it means that that tree is liable to be a little bit more stable although again its bottom branches are in the water the water's lapping about so the bottom is actually moving and jiggling quite a lot but the top is, is fairly still so yes what a, what a gorgeous little morning um, what can I say let's have a little look there's beautiful texture in the clouds that's nice and I do like that little bit of texture that's left in that water see a tiny bit of pink behind me as part of the band of Venus tiny bit uh, but we've got it's in the sky above the low cloud so we may or may not be lucky we'll see uh, but I'll spin and we'll get ready and we'll compose our shot ready uh, for the old Tenby tree and uh, yeah let's, let's see what we can do Yeah, so that colour's starting to happen. It won't last long. Um, so let's come up. And we're at one and a half seconds, F11. Let's take, first of all, we're going to take that tree. So it's a good old Tenby tree. And uh, I'm going to double check that. We have got some colour, which is fabulous. It is starting to creep across. So I've kept its partner in. Um, to balance this image, I think I can move probably slightly, very slightly this way. And yeah, oh wow, yes, there is definitely colour there. Isn't it great when you plan something and it actually works? Um, okay, so let me just double check on that. And we have that. And what I might do is just do a slightly longer exposure, F16, get it up to about, yeah, about six and a half seconds. Might go a touch longer than that. I know it'll move the tree, um, 10 seconds, but I want to smooth that water out. Definitely smooth that water out. And uh, beautiful. Beautiful, always keep an eye and look around. I expected this, so I'm so pleased that that worked. Um, but, absolutely fabulous. to do now is move quickly I'm going to move back and retake this shot behind you because the, the light is fantastic that's a Rafi wanting a stone so <laughs> he's got his eye on the prize and he's in let's do one last shot this way okay very pretty on the water 
So very quickly, just because it's going to change like crazy, just like this. Focus on our tree. Now this will blow those highlights. So I'm going to do a couple of shots, get everything in focus. There we go. And then I'm going to take a shorter exposure for those highlights for a two seconds. If I throw on a six stop and I'm going to focus in the middle of this scene. So let me just focus and lock just like that. Missed it, focus and lock. I haven't brought my, I'll have to do clean t-shirt-ish. That'll do. And oh, let's get this in. All the way up now. Two minutes. Whoops. Two minutes. Go. Uh, Tenby Point. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Bit of a rush. Um, got a bit of a dither in the middle of that. I didn't know which way to shoot um, because the, the colour was that way but I was once at this tree and I loved the background and the light on that boat and uh, it just went nuts. Um, but I think it worked out in the end. We'll know if this vlog's gone out. So uh, all it leaves me to say is please look after yourself, look after your loved ones and from Tenby Point. See ya. <laughs>